Hello there and welcome to my channel. Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Lois. For those of you who don't know me, if it's your first time here, then warm and welcome to you. And for my returning subscribers, my G's, my day ones, thank you for coming back to spend some time with your girl. You turn, you turn, you turn, about turn, about turn. Thank you for coming back to spend some time with your girl to see what I've got in store for you today. Now, alas, we have welcomed Miss Tigger. She's here with us today. Hello. How are you? Okay, wow, wow, she's a bit, mm, today. Are you okay? She seems to be okay. Yeah, you, you take a seat, my girl. Yeah, you, you do, you do you. You do you. So guys, I have got a lovely haul for you today. It's a B&M haul, yes. And it's funny because I haven't been to B&M in quite a while and now I'm there on the regular. Because B&M's got a lot going on. It's got it going on. So if you like the type of things in terms of hauls um, and lifestyle and Christmas and autumn and hauls, I am your girl. And guys, we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Yes, we are. Let's see if we can get there by, I don't know, Christmas maybe? I don't know. Or even before. Uh, whatever you guys want to do. If you subscribe, you'll help your girl to get there. So, guys... I must say. Actually, before we get into all of that, before we get into all of that, and Tix is tumbling, tumbling, tumbling. Yeah, 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 careful. Let's do candle of the day. Now, candle of the day is this big, huge, pumpkin-y type of candle. And I did say, guys, that I'm going to be doing um, all pumpkin candles for the entire month of October because it's my birthday month and I like pumpkins. So... This is my tribute. So this is a lovely one. This is called Cinnamon Pumpkin. And this is absolutely gorgeous. And look at the style of it. This is a big one. It's a big one. Um, and it's quite a strong smelling pumpkin. But I just love the way it looks. It's gorgeous. Guys, that is my candle of the day. Can we see it? Yeah, we can. And guys, before you get all worried saying... Lois, the candle's too close to the flowers. I know, guys, you told me that on the last video. But it really ain't. Look, look, guys, see? My hand is going right across it. It's not going to burn. So, yeah, trust your girl. I mean, in the in the early days, yeah, we were to catch stuff alike. It's happened a couple of times if you were to go back at my old videos. I'm not going to tell you which ones because, um, yeah, we want to forget about that embarrassment. Hence why your girl is very careful with her candles going forwards. So, yeah, we always do a little test before we start. So, as I want to say to you, B&M, B&M have got it going on, guys. And I'm going to, I'm not, am I going to apologise? I don't even know. Am I apologising? Probably not. Tiggs, why are you over there? Your people are over here. They want to see you. Yeah. Because I'm going to get it in the neck. They can't see you. Or should I just turn the camera a little bit? Is that what it is? There you go, guys. You can see the candle and you can see her and you can see your girl. Anyway, as I was saying, B&M, guys, they've got so many Christmas things in. And this haul wasn't predominantly Christmas. But I've been going to backwards and forwards to B&M a few times. So... Because I've been going on like several trips, I've picked up little things along the way. And I intentionally kept those things to the side thinking, oh, I'll show it to you nearer Christmas. But I had a think, uh, well, I was thinking about it and I thought, you know what? If I wait until Christmas or, you know, a month before Christmas to show you, you won't get any of these things probably that I'm going to show you now. So if they're out in the stores now, it makes sense for me to show you. Guys, don't, don't, um, don't, don't, what's it? What's the saying, girls? Don't, don't hate the player, hate the game. All that, all that, all that. <laughs> so I'm going to show you some things that I got from B&M. As I said, it's predominantly Christmas. Not all of it is Christmas, but it's all around winter and, and that time of thing that type of thing so let's get started i've got two little autumnal bits first and um this thing this particular one guys i've seen it so many times and i looked at it when i first saw it and i saw it months ago i think i thought it was around july um but they still got it in store because i bought it very recently 
and I gave into it because I liked it and I kept thinking no it's it's very flimsy it might break but then I went and I had a good old tap and bang on it in the shop and it's actually quite sturdy this mushroom glass mushroom and also it matches all my other little brown bits do you know what I mean all those up there and all that and I, I, I liked it the minute I saw it but I was afraid of it thinking it's very flimsy but actually it's not I don't know if the ones that I saw earlier up in the year were flimsy and these ones are strong, but guys, you know what I feel about flimsy glass. Glass. This is a strong little little mushroom or whatever it may be, but I like it. I love the clear glass of it and mushrooms are really a big thing. Last year, woodland was a big thing and last year I had mushrooms as well, but this year the theme has carried on being quite well... Um, well designed and people are doing it everywhere on bed sheets on clothing on materials and in ornaments so yeah got this for four pounds that's a long talk about mushrooms isn't it but i got it for four pounds and uh, loving the glass mushroom and as you can see as i said it matches my items up there and i bought a repeater guys i've got one of these up there and i wanted another one to match so it's symmetrical so one either side kind of thing um but also as well, if I would decide to move it around the house, say like, for example, my bed tables, bedside table, I've got one either side. If I decide to put it in the hallway, I've got one either. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I really like that. So I thought I'd get myself another one. So that's another one for £2.50. So moving across into the Christmassy stuff, they've got some lovely, lovely things. So let me show you this sign. I think I've showed you this briefly before on my bit of a sneak peek. Um... I'm loving this sign, I'm loving it in terms of being a very neutral kind of sign. You can put this in your tree, you can stand it along your hallway, you can hang it if you want to, or you can have it along like a, a sort of like ledge or whatever. And this is really nice. The only thing that's a shame, it doesn't say Christmas. It's taken the Christ out of Christmas. But all the same, it's still a lovely sign. Um, but that's the only thing, it should have said Christmas. Christmas, yeah. So, yeah, got that. Let me just tell you the price. Uh, that was £4, and it comes under the Cozy Christmas range. That's the range in that um, B&M are doing now, the Cozy Christmas range. And this is part of that. So, loving that. And as I say, guys, I'm showing you what's in store. Now, I'm not buying a whole load this year. So, that's why I'm showing you little bits and pieces that I'm picking up now. Because I'm not doing you a massive big thing like I did you know, for the last few years. I'm just getting little small pieces to add to my existing things that I've already got. Because I'm getting out of my old stuff, guys. I'm, I'm just I'm just repurposing all of my old things. So that's what I'm going to... But, but that's not to say I'm not going to be picking up a couple of bits and pieces here and there. And your girl's here to show you. So, love these. Now, I tried to get hold of these last year and the year before. And I never got hold of them in terms of the ones I really wanted. When I saw them this year with the fur... I thought, yes, loving the Christmas stocking. Love it, love it, love it. And it's got the fur. So this actually matches my um, fur under my tree that I bought recently. Now that's, um, I've list, I put the video down below where I bought my tree skirt in, where did I buy it? TK Maxx or HomeSense? Well, well, sometimes they join together, but that was the store I bought it from. But this actually matches it because that was a complete faux fur tree skirt. Guys, I'm so happy with that. Oh. But here is the stocking and it's actually got the nice sort of plait detail down the middle. I bought three of them. One for me and the girls. So we've got three cream. Are you okay there? You know, it's, just, it's all about you. Get comfy, girl. It's all about you. Clearly, she wants to sleep. Or she doesn't like this. Don't, like, don't you like them? What do you think? Not interested? Okay, she goes, just move it out of my face. All right, then. Some people are antisocial today. So I got three of these. These came in at... Let me put down those two, and I can show you properly. These came in at £7 each. A little bit... Mm, but for fur and for white, and it's got little speckles of gold in it. I don't know if you can see it up close in the camera, but it's actually interwoven with little speckles of gold as well, which is absolutely gorgeous, guys. 
I love it. It's really nice. Seven pounds a pop each for those. But as I said, it matches my um, my skirt, my tree skirt. And guys, um, my tree skirt was a little bit, mm, you know, in my mind, a little bit on the high side. Some of you are saying that you thought, you know, it's an okay price. But I wanted it for a long time. So, yeah, for what it is, it, it was worth the money. But if you want tree skirts around £10, b and have got some really nice tree skirts. I actually was quite, hmm. And I even saw like a blue tree. Guys, I saw a blue tree skirt in there. And I thought, where was the blue tree skirt last year? Because last year, my Christmas tree was blue. This year, guys, I'm going to hold the suspense back in terms of what my tree theme colour will be this year. And that's why anything I've bought for my tree, which I haven't really bought anything much because I already, I know I'm going on a bit, guys, but, you know, just want to hear the backdrop. I had actually had the colour I'm going to use this year, last year, but I decorated one of my other trees in that colour last year. And I thought, oh, I'm going to put that on the big tree this year. So, yeah. So, moving forward, guys, this is a beauty. Look at this little choo-choo train set. Guys, look, look. And it's got the glitter on top, like the snow on top of it. This is going to go into my little village. My daughter said, Mommy, you're making, is that for your village? She goes, that's gorgeous. I said, I know. And she was like, oh, that's really nice. And But I'll tell you the rest of the story afterwards. But this lights up, guys. And each train has got its own little light. So then you turn that light on there. And then you turn that light on there. And then the driver, to keep him awake, we put his light on and all. Hello, driver, wake up. Guys, isn't that so cute? Let me turn the lights off. And... What I like about them is that you actually can test this in store because they've got the little tester thing on, in store. But when I went in store, there wasn't many of these. So I suspect these turn... Oh dear, turn it on again. These type of light up little ornaments, they do tend to go quite quickly. But I'm loving that. Now, what was the price? I fit, now, I've taken the label off because I already put this out and testing it yesterday. The label for this was... A, I think this was about £8, guys. This is about £8. But... I'm telling you, maybe the camera's not doing it much justice, but I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And I also bought a house to match it as well. Now, I have got other houses from last year, so I'm, I, I'm buying additional. Because I always buy little houses each year. Little, I always buy a little house. So this one, it's also the house to match it. And again, it's got the glitter on top. I don't know if you can really see the glitter in the camera. But it's got the glitter on top. And again, this house lights up. So there you have it. A light up house. And this it says, it says your Nordic ice range. And this came in at £4 for this house. Now, I was saying to my daughter, oh, I like to put the house with the with the um, train. And she was like, but mum, why? If that's your miniature village, why is the house a bigger, it's bigger than the train? I said, what are you talking about? She goes, why is your house the size of a train? If I saw a train the size of a house, I'd be worried. I said to her, go away. Why are you messing up my vision? Go away. If we were in the car, tell her to get out of the car. But we were in the car, we were in the house. So I'd tell her to get out of Anyway, I like the house. I think it's cute. Okay, I might have to stand it a little bit back from the train or away from the train. Because she reckons the house and the train shouldn't. And you know my, my door's different already, guys. I like it anyway. Four pounds for your light up house. Loving that. So moving on as well, in terms of Christmas, guys, you've got your frosted berry candle. And this is, as you know, it's like your white company type of du dupe, your Joe Malone type of dupe. But B&M do their own version for a fraction of the price. And this one came in at six pounds and it's frosted winter berry. Now it does smell nice. You can smell the winter berries in it. I mean, it's not a strong smell because it's wrapped in plastic. But once you you discard that and take it off, guys, I suspect it's going to be really, really nice. And also, it's just a lovely decor piece to look at. This came in at £6 for this one. And as you can see, you can see the berries in there, all your different spices in there as well. I love it. Really nice. Lovely to be on your Christmas table or, you know, your wherever you're sort of setting up your Christmas display. 
if you want something more of a, a candle candle now this one they have actually got the candle to it now b m to me oh excuse me guys my phone is making the most noise now i can't reach it so i'm gonna have to wait till it goes off it's gone off now I should have really put my phone near me, but my phone was over the other side of the room. I can't get up because I've got all the stuff around me. Yeah, all, all, all behind the scenes of filming, guys. You wouldn't believe. But anyway, as I said, if you actually want a candle type of candle jar, this is really lovely. This smells absolutely gorgeous. Now, every year I do buy a Christmas candle for myself. And that's my special little thing that I do every year. And normally I buy my candles from Next. Now, the one I bought last year from Next, I didn't finish the whole lot off. I've still got it. And this year's candle that Next have done, their Christmas candle, is exactly the same. So I'm not going to rebuy it. And it wasn't cheap either. I'm not going to rebuy it. This is my Christmas candle for this year. And I'm so chuffed. It came in at four quid. So lovely and affordable. And guys, it smells good. If you want me to recommend a candle... I recommend this one and this is Frosted Winter Berry. This is really, really, really nice for four quid as well. Now, I can't say what it's like on a burn because I haven't burnt it, but on a cold sniff, absolutely gorgeous. I'm sorry, guys, I've got all fluff flying around. It's all it's all from the um, the stockings and stuff like that. But yeah, that is four pounds. Absolutely. I've got to have a, I've got, I'm sorry, I've got to have a. this is nice and this could this is it's not strong but this is really nice you could actually burn this at your christmas table or if you're having like your buffet or like on christmas eve we tend to have like a buffet type of meal um where we'll just pick like pick food if you want to call it or hand food or you know because obviously we're getting ready for christmas so we don't want a massive meal the night before these are the sort of candles you would be burning because it wouldn't overpower your food guys yeah so moving forwards now to add to my winter village loving these little tiny ceramic houses this came in at four pounds and this is lovely like i said this one i bought a while ago so these are the sort of things that's why i'm showing you now because people are not finding these sort of things the longer you leave it that's why i thought i'm not gonna leave it any longer i'm gonna show you the things so you at least you know what's in look at the four lovely little houses absolutely stunning now you can use this as um you know to hang on your tree but i'm personally going to use this as part of my little village so it's universal for you to use it whichever way you want to moving forward let me just pick up some of the items guys the, the noise is giving it away what it is isn't it <laughs> let me pick up a few more of the items closer to me right so also what i saw in store um were well, these they've got actual ribbons in store and you've got all different types you've got your gold ribbons ribbons you've got all different colors i bought these three and you can either buy them for i think it's uh uh two pounds each or three for five pounds and i actually got three of them and they're lovely and let me see how long they are it says christmas ribbons is five centimeters wide and 2.7 meters long so yeah you've got as i say three for five pound or, or two pounds each so i've got some ribbons as well also what i got in there are some of these lovely little gingerbread cookies and this is your little tiny cookies if you want to actually drop it into your um, hot chocolate or you want to drop it into your um, whatever hot drinks you're making or with your candy canes and all that sort of thing. So, yeah, these are absolutely cute. They're really, really cute. These came in at about a pound or pound fifty roughly, but they are nice. They're your mini gingerbread cookies. So, yeah, got that. Also, in terms of in baking, I picked up these um, cake tin liners and what i love about this is actually it's got the christmas decor on it so that's the decor what it looks like and you've got like a little santa now that was 20 cake tins for two pounds and that's to make your loaves 
So I'm um, not sure what I'm going to do with these yet, but I just like the look of it and I thought, Lois, it's good to have it in the cupboard, just in case, you never know. So yeah, got some of those. Also, sticking with that, I got um, Betty Winter's icing bag set. Now guys, I do make, I'm not going to lie, I make good cakes, but I cannot ice to save my life. I, can, I cannot, but I'm going to attempt it. So I thought, let me get myself the proper kit, the utensils and see what I can do. But um, yeah, as I said, I'm very good at making cakes. But hmm, hi, sin is another story. But I'm going to, because you don't know till you try, do you? You don't know till you try. And I'm going to just, you know, dedicate some time and ice one of my cakes and see what I come up with. So I've got to probably read some books and see what, what I can do. Also, they've got these lovely um, paper baking cases. And again, make it merry. You've got 36 in there for £2. And I actually got the gold with the white with the red. But they've got different colours there, you know, depending on what your theme is going to be. But um, I just like the gold. When I saw the gold in there, I thought it's on. I, like, I do like the gold. So to make some lovely little cupcakes. And also, I saw these mixing bowls, which I got myself a couple of these. Now, I do have quite a few um, metal bowls that I tend to use for seasoning my meat and my fish. But I actually wanted my... I know I know it's the same bowl and you can wash it out and all that. But I wanted my cake bowl a little different to my um, meat bowls. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. My meat bowls are wide. My cake bowls are narrow. Yes. I just, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know. Guys, am I being funny or I just like my things different. Do you know what I mean? Even though I'm going to wash it, I'm going to, of course I'm going to wash it, but I just want it smaller and then, and they're deeper. Whereas with the meat ones, they're wider and they're more, you know, more flatter. Whereas these are more deeper. Am I making sense, guys? Anyway, these came in at three pounds each and they are lovely, lovely, deep stainless steel mixing bowls to make your cakes or your doughs or even um sometimes i'll make like jamaican fried dumpling these are actually great because you get the deepness to pound the actual dumpling and make your dough mixture so or make festival what we call festival so these are the kind of bowls that are really really good for it so anyway got those for three pounds in um b and m sticking with um the theme also picked up these ones these are your frosted rose winter wonderland well frosted rose wonderland and it's from the winter edition of mrs hinge mrs hinge yeah so um it's the in wash scent booster now last year i remember i bought the um the conditioner that was the winter rose then and it was gorgeous i bought so many bottles i'm starting to use it now for this year because i kept some by because it was so nice last year haven't tried this one though so um i thought i'd try um the incense boosters first and i have got the conditioner but that's coming up in another haul which is um pretty soon but i haven't tried it yet but yeah i'm gonna save this till nearer when it gets colder so that was about 2.99 i think for that one so i just want to try it and see what it's like now the last couple of bits that i picked up were these candy cane smarties Pick those up. These came in at £1.15 each for those. So, yep, yeah, got a few of those. And I'm wondering, is it red or white or is it just... I don't know. It's red and white, smart, but is it chocolate in the middle? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we open them. But anyway, and also picked up two of these because, guys, I am just about finishing my decorating and I need these to fill my my pumpkin jars so um yeah which i'm in the middle of doing that now so i'm filming it for you guys don't worry i'm filming it for you so you're gonna get a mixture of christmas um autumn -y, christmas it's gonna be a mixture because that's what we've got in the shops guys we've got a mixture of everything coming so again i've got these one pound 15 each and um yeah so guys there's still gonna be autumn content coming not just christmas but because of the way that everything is being microwaved to us right now Every minute we're getting Christmas stuff through. I don't know why it's, it's so quick this year. But as I say, I want to keep you guys abreast of everything that's happening. So that at least you can, if you've seen anything on here that I've shown you, you can go out and get it. What I don't want to do, guys, is wait till the last minute dot com. And then you can't get the things. You're like, Lois, where the heck is this? Because I'm telling you, there's nothing more frustrating than when you can't get what you've seen 
you know, somebody advertised or you see it online or you see it in a magazine and then they want, they can't get it. It's nothing more frustrating. So your girl is hooking you up, giving you the tea. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked my B&M haul, a Christmas sneak peek kind of thing, if you like. And um, yeah, and then if anything you want, guys, head out, get it, get it now. Don't wait, don't wait, head out and get it now. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. Tiggs is fast asleep. Let's not disturb her. And I'll see you guys on my very next video. Take care of yourself. See you all real soon. Bye.